everyone and welcome to Mr. T. Today we are going to see how to play Seven Nights Rebirth on PC using the amazing Boost Axe 5 that is designed for blazing fast. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'm always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. Everything I do, so instinctive and so passionate Every word I move, so descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patent it Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks This and that, spitting slow, spitting fast I can roast, I can gas, think I'm all paying last But I don't know if that can erase all the past And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness Hilarious, you think you're worth my time, you're delirious Mysterious, because you hide behind a fake exterior Inferior, you know I'll always be a bit superior Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag I want you to hear words, you can say them back I want you to feel free from the chains at last And to believe in what you got, it was built to last, yeah Now that I've been put through hell I never got anyone's help I had to do it all myself it is a file to I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I'm gonna learn the consequence of being incompetent Mental health is confidence, dreams and some honesty I'm not here to say the day, that's for you to take away I could play a million miles Games, but it's to say something not illogical, something not as typical. Rub it on and watch it go. Make yourself unstoppable. Dreams are irresponsible, but they're always possible. If you just believe, you could be so remarkable. Thoughts in my head, a collage, and they spread. I'll be great one day, going off of my meds. No, I'm not giving up. No, I'm not giving in. I will make it to the top, taking off in the wind. I gotta make it. I'm saving every day to taste it. I'm patient, but my mind it can hardly take it. I'm chasing a dream that I've had for several ages of making. Modern kingdom for the taking. Now that I've been put through hell, I never got anyone's help. I had to do it all myself. With the installation phase. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I built to provide stability no, and performance during long I game no sessions love. The installation has already finished for me. At present, the emulation has been started automatically. As you can discover, down here, there's a progress bar that will fill up so when it comes to the finish, the emulator will be launched for the very first time. The fact is the emulator has been launched there for the first time. Before we continue, as you understand, it created a couple of icons there on the PC desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks Multi Instance. Note that the Bluestack software icon is the one we're concerned about. Each time we choose to operate Seven Nights Rebirth on our PC, we twice click this app icon and consequently start the emulator. The Bluestack's multi instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestack 5's new improved multi instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Shall we perform the following step, which is a must have, and that is to visit the Google Play Store? To do that we will go there to, System Apps, we click. And we will just click on Play Store. As you can see now the Google Play is started. Here we have to sign in. At this time once we are here, we are required to execute this next step which is imperative. Therefore we mouse click on, Sign In. Presently it says, Checking Info. It could sometimes get stopped at, Checking Info, and it doesn't continue. If that's the case, you may try to log in in after a number of hours and it'll very likely be fixed. At this time we will insert our email and password. The email address has to be a Gmail email as well as its corresponding password. For example you can utilize the exact same email you use at this moment in your own YouTube account. So that I am going to type in my data and I'll revisit after I have done it. Voila, details typed in. Here is Google welcoming us and offering us the twos. We are going to agree to all of them simply by clicking, I agree. Following that, it offers us to save to the Google Cloud. You can keep it checked and it'll build a backup of the files on this device to Google Drive. I won't check it, you do what you want. 
we just click on accept. Google Play Store is started by default and automatically. To set up the app game, we would need to browse the emulator desktop by clicking that icon indicated green colored. At this point that we are watching the desktop of this emulator, we see that we now have there the install application button. We just click on that button. On this page we get the game app. So let's mouse click here on the install option that I am just highlighting now in green. This action will begin the software installation. At this moment it will install the game app. It may take some time or perhaps it might possibly be almost immediate. It again all varies on the connection to the web. This has actually ended installing. Now, let's go to the emulator desktop by clicking this specific button I'm highlighting in green that allows you to launch Seven Nights Rebirth for the first time. We are now on the emulator desktop and we're going to mouse click on this new Seven Nights Rebirth app icon which was provided. This game app is launched for the first time. There we end up with it. I'm able to mouse click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I should discuss the volume of that emulator. It is here. We use the icon of higher volume as well as the icon of lower volume. This way we won't use the Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound experience of your emulator. And also to enjoy the experience to the maximum, we can activate the big screen, for which we have two alternatives. This one is the first one. We click on that icon that I am basically identifying in green. Thus the screen is maximized, coming with one border at the top, one on the right side and one at the bottom. Assuming that we need to launch the game in full screen, we mouse click on this game icon. And then we would likely already be experiencing and enjoying the game in full screen function. To get out of the full screen mode, hit the F11 key. And then we would probably already play in normal computer screen setting. At this point, I am starting to present you the keyboard mapping and that is extremely useful. That way we will certainly be ready to utilize the game application a lot more effortlessly. The first thing is to click on this application icon. And here you will have the ability to make the necessary adjustments. I can leave the default settings, but if you require to improve this, you can easily do so without having problem. Clearly, the emulator is totally in our own language. Once in a while it happens that the emulator is presented in the incorrect language, for instance, in Chinese. And as a consequence to set it in the proper language we click here to the cogwheel. Then there within other configurations, we just click the language drop down. We can easily choose the language we like, German, Chinese, and so forth. As soon as the language is decided, we are going to save, the emulator would restart, as well as the game application, next time we start it, would of course be in the preferred language. At present, you can find another detail that we must take into account, and this is that we will get a message from Gmail indicating that a completely new machine has been connected with this Google account. It is going to question us if we are the individuals who have connected that electronic device. That's right, we must not be troubled, as the emulator is emulating an Android device. So you can discover which smartphone or tablet is being emulated, we visit here, to the cogwheel and we simply click on it. Be sure to go here to the, model, choice. And here we realize that the emulator is emulating a Samsung mobile phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all guys, so much for the tutorial. I believe you appreciated it, specifically that you found it informative. If that's the case, bring it a pleasant thumb up, subscribe, and if you have feedback, questions or ideas, put them in the comment field down below. Click on any of the video tutorials that are appearing on the computer screen and see you in the following videos. Bye.